everyone welcome back to technon tech tv in this tutorial we're going to discuss about iterative model in software engineering with uh, its example so let's start the iterative model was designed as an improvement to the existing waterfall model so the waterfall model is a linear sdlc model whereas the iterative model is a cyclical in nature iterative model is similar to the waterfall concept the only difference is that iterative waterfall allows you to go back to the previous stage and update the criteria as well as make some changes if needed once the initial requirement planning process is completed some of the other stages are repeated as these cycles are completed and implemented the overall end product is improved and iterated on these stages are repeated if any new requirements pop up or any error bug is identified in our system so once these stages are uh, finished in other words all the requirement are fulfilled and uh, checked the most recently built iteration of the system is given to the end user this model iterates planning design coding and testing stages again and again so this helps in ensuring that the final product built iteratively is according to the standard standards required by the user so i have already explained all these stages in uh, detail in the previous video that is a waterfall model tutorial so if you want to know more about these stages then watch that video first i have added the video link on the upper right corner of your screen now let's discuss application of iterative model so the iterative approach is used by many engineering teams to develop new features and apply problem fixing techniques so the team may frequently produce new iterations that they believe are equally promising before testing them with users so they will make a list of pros and cons and then work on the one that perform the best so this process is then carried out in a loop until the results are satisfactory This model is also used in uh, electronic world. So the world of electronics is following the iterative model. The development of mobile phones throughout the years, how speakers have uh, gotten smaller and more portable over time, or even the way refrigerators from the same brands have changed to adapt to new family needs. So all of these are iterative processes. The industry is reshaping itself every day based on customer feedback. Next is digital marketing. So the digital marketing teams test different advertising. strategies to see which one gets better engagement so they understand the requirement of the advertisement plan attractive designs by performing proper analysis and implement them in their product marketing so these copies are then shared with the members to get feedback and based on that the improvements are made so this improves their marketing strategies The use of an iterative model does not limit to one industry due to its features like parallel development, multiple testing, early risk identification, etc. It is adapted by various industries like electronics, marketing, sales, etc. Let's discuss advantages of iterative model. So this model is very flexible as new functionality can be added to it at uh, any time of development and this model is cheap. as it less costly to change requirements as compared to other process model next is stakeholders can give feedback so the end user or the stakeholders can give their uh, feedback quickly which can then be implemented into the system and in iterative model the errors and bugs in the system can be identified early Now let's see disadvantages of iterative model so uh, first one is it is not suited to shifting needs Although the cost of change is lower it is not well suited to constantly shifting needs next is it is not good choice for smaller project there is a need for proper management if someone is looking to use this model for smaller projects then the iterative model is not the correct choice as uh, it may not be possible or realistic to break down small projects into smaller parts Next is it is difficult to manage so this model requires highly skilled resources to work on the analysis part of the project to avoid risk since all the requirements are not gathered well in advance problems with the system design may arise so the entire procedure is difficult to manage so that's it for this video if you have any doubt comment us below and if you found some value in this video then make sure to subscribe to the channel and give me a thumbs up and do share this video with your friends to spread the knowledge and stay tuned for more videos